Good afternoon, Western Washington, and happy Saturday. I'm Matthew Fab with Western Washington Weather, and today we're going to take a look at the forecast for the next few days as we have mainly calm weather across the area. So starting here with the UW satellite, you can see some low clouds starting to clear out across the lowlands this afternoon with some more clouds moving into the area in advance of a very weak system that will move through and maybe bring some breezy conditions. So we'll take a look at that here in a moment. Taking a look at the overall pattern here, you can see that weak system we're talking about is we're going to move over Vancouver Island there and clip western Washington and not will not have much in the way of rain, maybe some some windy conditions for localized areas, but other than that, not much. And then as you can see, we go into this next week here and we have a pretty big ridge building to our south over Oregon. And that is going to bring us some nice warm conditions to start October. Highs will likely reach the low 70s on Tuesday. And then you can see that ridge starts to flatten out with some troughing to our north in northern British Columbia, but that also won't bring much in the way of rain. And you can see as we go through next week, we still have ridging across the area. And as we keep going, you can see that on the European model here, all the way out to about next weekend, you can see that ridging. So very little precipitation is expected across the area over the next week or so to start October. So let's take a look at that precipitation. You can see that weak system that will move by on Sunday will bring some areas of drizzle. You can see that here, but then by the time we get to late Sunday, that decreases and we remain dry on Monday, and then mostly dry on Tuesday, maybe some showers in the Cascades and on the coast. And then we, you can see that on Wednesday, still remaining dry on Thursday as well, maybe some light showers late Thursday. And then you can see that is where this forecast comes to an end for now, and it's really pretty uncertain after this anyway. So now let's take a look at wind potential here. You can see that this evening, this is the European model, it is showing a potential for a moderate westerly surge down the Strait of Juan de Fuca with gusts of 35 to 40 miles an hour for parts of the southern San Juans there and parts of Whidbey Island. And then you can see as we go through tomorrow, so that wind really increase along the east slopes of the Cascades there with gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour, including areas like Ellensburg and Wenatchee and Lake Chelan, and then into parts of eastern Washington. And with that dry conditions, there won't be much rain with this front. It could bring some elevated fire weather conditions across parts of the Cascades in eastern Washington. So do keep that in mind if you're out in that area. And you can see across the rest of the lowlands, 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts possible over the next 24 hours or so. Now this is the national blend of models and we're looking at total precipitation through next Sunday. So this is basically the next week and you can see very little rain relative to the fact that it is now October by the time this forecast ends. You can see for the entire week across the area only about a tenth of an inch of rain for the entire Seattle metro from Olympia all the way to Everett and that continues all the way up across Whidbey Island and Skagit County. Maybe about a quarter inch across parts of Whatcom County. And then on the coast, not very much rain until you get north of Ocean Shores there. From Ocean Shores northward, you get a third of an inch to about a half of an inch, maybe a little bit more on some of the north coast. And then you can see the Olympics and the Cascades get about a half inch to an inch in the north Cascades there, but south of I-90, barely any rain in the Cascades as well. So overall, it's looking to be a pretty dry week ahead. And now let's take a look at those temperatures. You can see today from Seattle north highs in the low 60s, mid 60s from Seattle south and low 60s on the coast. On Sunday, you can see those temperatures cool down a little bit with that system moving by in the upper 50s to low 60s from Seattle northward, and then in the low 60s from Seattle to Olympia, mid 60s from Olympia southward, and then you can see on the coast, upper 50s to low 60s tomorrow. On Monday, we start to warm up a little bit, low to mid 60s Seattle north and mid 60s Seattle southward, and then take a look at Tuesday. That's going to be our warmest day with that ridge to the south over Oregon. With the clouds possible over the northern part of Washington here, you can see Whatcom and Skagit counties only get to the low 60s. But from Skagit County southward through Seattle, highs in the upper and mid to upper 60s. Seattle southward, highs in the low 70s, maybe a few mid 70s closer to the foothills there. And then on the coast, there highs in the mid 60s on Tuesday. Then as we go to Wednesday, temperatures cool down again dropping to the low 60s from Seattle North and mid 60s from Seattle South and then low 60s again on the coast. And a similar thing is expected on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. So you can see very uh, similar conditions for the next few days here. And then if we take a look at low temperatures, you will notice it will be a little bit chillier in the mornings here. This is Sunday morning. You can see upper 40s across most of the area, some areas, especially Olympia Southward and in 
Southern Pierce County, they're dropping into the mid-40s. Take a look at Monday morning. It'll be our coolest morning of the season so far. Lows in the low 40s for most areas outside of urban Seattle there, where it will be in the mid-40s. So, and then we may even have some upper 30s in some of the foothills there. So, that'll be a nice, cool morning. It hopefully, we'll start to turn some of that fall foliage, especially up there in the mountains. You can see some conditions will be below freezing Monday morning in parts of the Cascades. You can see Tuesday morning, mid to upper 40s. Same thing on Wednesday, a few low 50s. And then again on by Thursday morning, back to the low to mid 40s across the area. So it will be getting cooler in the mornings, as and that is expected as we get more into fall here. And now let's take a look real quick at the temperature outlook for October 5th to 11th. And you can see it is showing above average temperatures here for Washington. And that does kind of fit with some of the conditions we're seeing. So it does look like through mid-October, we will be slightly above average there. And then you can see the precipitation forecast also is... Uh, making sense there with that ridging that we were looking at earlier in the video that goes through mid-October there. So we will likely not have very much rain between now and mid-October, although that could change, so stay tuned for more on that. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and share these videos. It's the best way to help Western Washington weather grow. Stay tuned, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.